Gemma. I want to talk to you about equal parts of a whole. Here I have three shapes. What are they? They're squares. All of my squares have been divided in two parts and I've coloured one part of each whole. This square was not divided into equal parts because both parts are different sizes. Let's check it out though. This yellow piece of paper covers this part exactly, but it doesn't cover this part exactly. We have extra space, so we can't call this one half. This one was divided in two equal parts. Both parts are the same size. This yellow piece of paper covers this part exactly, and it covers this part exactly. So they are the same size. So we can call this one half. What about this one? It's a bit different. Can we call this one half? Yes, we can. Because both parts are exactly the same size. So we can call this one half. Let's have a look at some more shapes. What are these? They're circles. But which part of the circle shows one fourth? It, does this part show it? No, because it's not divided in four equal parts. There are four parts, but they're not the same size. What about this one? There are four parts again, but they're different sizes. This one's much smaller than this one. Is it this one? Yes, they're four equal parts. So this part shows one fourth. My challenge to you is to tell someone which of these shapes show one third. And remember, don't forget to explain why your answer is correct. Thanks.